What up you guys, it's Christina and I am so happy to have you back in the kitchen today because I'm gonna be showing you how to make the most perfect, sweetest and creamiest, delicious nut milk recipe that you've ever made. And I'm gonna show you how to make a raw vegan hot chocolate. I will be using a combination of three different types of nuts to make our fresh milk today. And we're gonna have some fun in the kitchen. It's the holiday season and people love to drink milks and nogs and warm drinks during the holidays. So I figured showing you how to make your own nut milk from home and even sharing a delicious recipe that you can make with your nut milk is perfect for today. I've been a raw vegan for 15 years, which means I've successfully made it through 15 holiday seasons, including this one as a raw vegan. And you know what? I will tell you this. I have learned a lot. There are some challenges that I faced and also there are certain things that I've mastered. And one of the biggest tips that I can give you is learning how to make your own fresh nut milk from home, especially vegan milk, because it is so good that you will never want to buy store-bought milk again. It has been 15 years, maybe longer, since I have had milk from an animal. The only kind of milk that I've had has been the milk that I've made in my kitchen from different nuts or seeds that's actually good and nutritious for my body and that does not harm another animal. I do not drink store-bought milk of any kind. I always make my own, and I do not consume animal products. Specifically in this case, I don't consume milk from an animal because it contains herbicides, pesticides, hormones, blood, sometimes pus, not to mention all of the animal abuse that goes into dairy farming. In my personal opinion, making your own nut milks from home is so easy and simple, and it is so much better for your health, the animals, and the environment as well. I'm hoping that once I show you how to make your own nut milk in this video, you'll never have to go out and buy your own milk again. You can always just make your own milk from home. I'm gonna be using my Nama juicer today, and most of you know that I love my Nama juicer. It is my favorite juicer out there. I've done several comparisons. I just think it is the best juicer, and not only does it make delicious juices, but also it can make nut milks, sorbets, and even smoothies. It is the best slow, cold-pressed, masticating juicer on the market right now. Some exciting news about the Nama is that it is now available to purchase with the plugs for New Zealand, Australia, the UK, and the EU. That's kind of amazing. The Nama's going worldwide. So for those of you who are interested in getting a juicer, it is the perfect holiday gift. Do not miss out on your opportunity to gift this to someone this season or even to yourself. I've put a special discount link and code below for you to check out so that you can give the gift of a juicer this holiday season or even gift one to yourself because the best gift is the gift of health. I'm being serious, you guys. Just take my word for it. If you do not have a Nama juicer in your kitchen, go get one now. Click on the link below and use my special code, thank me later. One exciting announcement that I wanna share with you before we dive into this delicious nut milk recipe is that I have just launched my vegan holiday gift guide on my website. I've just written the most epic blog post sharing with you 25 of my favorite vegan, cruelty-free, eco-friendly, and sustainable gift ideas that you can share this holiday season. These are a few of my favorite things, and I hope that you will go check out my website, check out this blog post, and gift one of these to yourself or to one of your loved ones. These are a few of my favorite things. Is Raindrops on roses, send whiskers on, on kittens, kittens, bright copper candles and warm woolen mittens, brown paper packages tied up with strings. These are okay. a if few you of my favorite things. <laughs> yeah! 
These are a few of my favorite things. <laughs> bravo, bravo. <laughs> Also, if you guys are looking for some raw vegan or even vegan recipes this holiday season, don't forget about my Vegan for the Holidays recipe ebook. There are tons and tons of delicious holiday recipes waiting for you in that ebook. I'll also include that link below and enjoy. I'm gonna be making two 64 ounce jars of this nut milk recipe today because it's going to last me in cash for maybe two or three days. Plus, I wanna share some of this nut milk with our neighbors who live next door. So I'm making an abundance of nut milk. It will last in the fridge for up to four or five days in a sealed tight glass container just like these. In front of me, you will see that I have a bowl of cashews, approximately four cups of raw soaked cashews. I have approximately two to three cups of raw soaked almonds and one and a half cups of raw soaked macadamia nuts. Now I've soaked each of these nuts for approximately five hours. I recommend soaking your nuts in clean filtered water for at least four to eight hours. This is important because it releases the enzyme inhibitors, allowing you to get the most nutrients out of your nut milk. I also find that it makes the nuts a little bit easier to juice. You get more out of your nuts. <laughs> I'm sorry. In order to successfully make your own nut milk juice, you are going to use two cups of liquid for every one cup of nuts that you use. So for instance, if we have one cup of macadamia nuts, I'm gonna use two cups of liquid to run through the juicer. And in my opinion, that gives you the perfect consistency of nut milk. If you want your nut milk to be creamier, you use less liquid. If you want it to be uh, more liquidy, or I should say less thick, then you simply just add more liquid. But hold the thought, I want to share with you my secret. All that being said, my real secret to making the sweetest nut milk ever is using fresh coconut water instead of regular water because it is sweeter and it has more electrolytes. It also tastes way better if you add in just a little bit of cinnamon and just a little bit of vanilla. You can see here that I have a huge jar of freshly cracked coconut juice. Cash is the one who actually cracked open our coconuts this morning and got this juice out. So I'm pretty lucky to say that I have really fresh coconut water to make our nut milk today. Now I know what you must be thinking, where in the world am I going to get coconuts or coconut water to make this recipe? Well, you have a few options. The first is to go to any Asian market or even Whole Foods and get some of their young coconuts. I've shown you in previous videos how you can simply crack these open and use the water from these young coconuts and save the meat. That's the first option. The second option is simply to go to the grocery store and buy the best quality coconut water that you can find. If you'd rather use water, just be sure that you are using pure filtered water. And like I said before, you can always add in some fresh vanilla or cinnamon and it will really add a really just extra special touch to this milk. So now we're going to be making our vegan milk and I'm gonna be combining our cashews, our almonds, and our macadamia nuts to create the most delicious, yummy, vegan creamy milk. Are you guys ready? For every cup of nuts that I run through the juicer, I'm going to add in approximately two cups of liquid. This nut milk is loaded with nutrients that are so good for your body. This nut milk has manganese, magnesium, iron, thiamine, vitamin B6, and so much more. And as you can see from this video clip, it is so easy to make nut milk using the Nama juicer. All you have to do is scoop in the nuts cup by cup or even spoonful at a time and follow it with water or coconut water. And that's it. And as you can see here, I like to double strain my milks because I like for them to be 
super, super smooth. Look at this gorgeous color. This is the most beautiful and pure nut milk I have ever seen. It is absolutely delectable. How insane do these look? Look at this delicious nut milk. It looks so beautiful, so creamy and white. All right, let me just let me just take a little taste, right? Mmm. Mmm. Yum. So I have to touch on the pulp for just a second because this pulp is so dry and you do not need to throw out this pulp. In this container, you can see that there's the cashew butter that was made from juicing the cashews. You also have the macadamia nut butter that was made from juicing the macadamia nuts. And then you have this really dry almond pulp. You can do so many things with these three nuts. You can save them in a container or in a Ziploc bag and you can make a raw vegan bread in your dehydrator, even a raw vegan cheese. And both of those recipes are in my Vegan for the Holidays ebook for you. So be sure to check it out if you wanna know what to do with your juice pulp. Both those recipes are solid. You do not need to throw this out. Create a zero waste kitchen for yourself. Before I show you how to make my raw vegan hot chocolate recipe, I had to get cash in here for the nut milk taste test because, you know, he's a tough one to crack. He's a tough nut to crack, no pun intended. So, are, you, are we gonna taste, are we gonna try these together? Yeah, I'm ready. You're All ready? right, I'm, I'm ready. ready. <laughs> All right, let's get it. Wait, we gotta cheers. Oh, okay. okay. Three, two, and... Oh, we're supposed to get a little? <laughs> uh, how do you feel about that? It's pretty good. I like it. Mm. Mm. It goes good with some oh, like... So good. It's so good. The best... Seriously, it's so clean. Rich. So sweet and rich and creamy. It's like, why would you ever want to buy store-bought milk again when you can have something that is this fresh? Yeah, this really is good. what real milk is supposed to taste like and it's not taken from another animal. It's not filled with chemicals. It's just It's it's just amazing. It's yeah. fully raw <laughs> it's good. All right, so let's make that hot chocolate uh, Yeah Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh. In case anyone's wondering what Cash is doing, we have a very small space to film in right now. He just crawled across the table. <laughs> this hot chocolate recipe is almost too easy to make. It is so delicious and yes, it's warm. We're gonna warm it in our Vitamix. If you need to go back and reference the exact recipe for this hot chocolate recipe, it's in my holiday ebook as well as in my app. When ready, go ahead and add into your high-speed blender of choice approximately two to three cups of your nut milk that we just made. Ooh, yeah. I'm making enough for me and Cash right now, by the way. One cup of raw cashews, four dates, four pitted dates, one heaping scoop of Sun Warriors chocolate collagen. You can also use their Chocolate Classic Plus. The goal is simply to use one of their chocolate protein powders. I personally am loving their Tahitian fudge right now and I think it is perfect for this recipe. The link for this is below. Two tablespoons of raw cacao. Two heaping <coughs> tablespoons of coconut nectar. You can hear Coco cooking <coughs> in the back. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, so now we are going to blend this for approximately three minutes, which is just enough to warm it, but not cook it. Whoa, okay, are you guys ready for this? This is one of my favorite parts. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Ready? Whoa, check it out. Oh my gosh, so exciting. 
It smells like hot chocolate. It smells like real hot chocolate. Guess who's back? Back again. All right, you ready for the hot chocolate taste test? Yep. So ready for this. All right, here we go. You ready? Mmm. <laughs> it's really warm. Nice and... It's so chocolatey. Yeah, it is. Mmm. Mmm. How are you going to know that foamy layer? Get that like, oh yeah. yeah. Mm. 10 out of a 10. I don't remember hot chocolate ever tasting this good because this is like 10 times more rich with so much more flavor. And it's good for you. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Yum! Cheers. I hope you guys have loved this video today. It has been so much fun sharing with you one of the most delicious nut milk recipes plus a fully raw hot chocolate recipe. If you've loved this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because there is only more to come. And if you guys are looking for a new juicer, definitely get the Nama juicer. It is available in more countries now. Please check it out. There's a discount code and a link for you below. I love this juicer. It does so many cool things and I couldn't recommend it enough. If you're looking for more raw vegan recipes, I've got you covered. My Vegan for the Holidays ebook is below as well as my app. And don't forget about my vegan holiday gift guide that I just posted on my blog as well. I hope you get to go and try some of these recipes and I hope that you have the best of holidays. See you all in the next video. Bye.